Mountain Dew Zero Sugar Sports Desk with Johnny Condon. Well, last year on the recruiting trail, Alabama head coach Nick Saban and his staff fell just short of that number one slot, falling to the hands of Jimbo Fisher and the Texas A&M Aggies. However, for this class of 2023, well, Saban and the Tide rebounded in, in a big way, signing the best class in the nation, sending shockwaves throughout the college football world, reminding everyone that Alabama doesn't just rebuild, no, they simply reload. Well, Christmas came early for Tide fans as Saban gave Alabama fans 28 more reasons to be thankful this season. 28 signees in the class of 2023, seven five stars, and maybe the most unlikely and surprising get, IMG Academy corner Desmond Ricks, the number two corner prospect in the nation. As recent as Wednesday afternoon, almost every recruiting expert had Ricks to LSU. Then there was a late surge from the Florida Gators, but Friday evening, Ricks announced that he would be rolling with the tie. You know, it's just a place that I felt like where I'll get developed the best and taken care of as a man, you know. I'm just uh, want to go somewhere where it's other people like me and we got the same mindset. Uh, you know, just to do it in front of my family, friends, all the ones I love, you know, uh, they mean a lot to me. Now, Ricks wasn't the only secondary help Saban secured this week. One name at the top of Tide fans' wish list was Georgia native and the number one safety in the nation, Caleb Downs. Downs helped lead Mill Creek High School to a Georgia State Championship and possesses maturity well beyond his age. And Nick Saban doesn't usually gush about prospects before they're on campus, but with Downs, well, it's evident Saban is thrilled he'll be coming to Tuscaloosa. The guy's a great competitor, loves to compete. Their team won the state championship. He was all into that, you know, could have gone anywhere he wanted to go and wanted to stay with the team that he played with the whole time. And uh, they won the state championship in Georgia, which is, you know, a significant accomplishment. And I just think he's the right kind of person. He's got leadership qualities that, you know, are hard to come by. And the guy's really got a lot of talent physically to be able to develop into something special. And we're really looking forward to working with him. Let's talk some UAB now where Blazer running back Debo McBride announced that he will forego his senior season and indeed enter the 2023 NFL Draft. McBride leaves UAB as one of the most decorated Blazers in program history. He had the greatest single season in school history, resulting in nine school records. In 11 games, he led the entire nation in total rushing yards, rushing yards per game, and ranked second nationally in rushing touchdowns with 19. He leaves UAB as the Blazers' career record holder in rushing yards per game and yards per carry. Let's check in on some bowl games today. We'll start in Shreveport for the Independence Bowl, Louisiana taking on Houston, and it's the Ragin' Cajuns who strike first. How about this throw? Chandler Fields going to find Johnny Lumpkin in the back of the end zone, 7-0 Ragin' Cajuns, but Dana Holgerson's Cougars, they'd fight back in this one. Clayton Toon, home run ball deep, and that's Keyshawn Carter. 34-yard pitch and catch, and it's a one-score game. Let's jump to the fourth quarter now. Tie game with under 30 seconds to play, and Toon's going to find Dell Jr. Dives to break the plane, and just like that, the Houston Cougars, they steal the Independence ball at the last minute. They down the Raging Cajuns 23-16. to One more for you tonight, the Gasparilla Bowl in Tampa, Florida. Wake 4 is taking on Mizzou. Third quarter, Deeks down 17-14. Not anymore. Sam Hartman, what a career he's had at Winston-Salem. He finds Jamal Banks, who goes 48 yards into the end zone. Wake retakes a 20-17 lead, and then with under four minutes to play, the dagger. Hartman finds Taylor Morin, who splits the defense, and goes 16 yards into the south end zone. Hartman was 23 of 36 for 280 yards in the air with three scores. He was absolutely brilliant. Wake Forest wins 27-17. That's all we got for sports right now. Megan, back to you. Thank you, Johnny. Well, stay with us. We have a final check on your forecast when we come back.